So this is just one of the two yep. big bulls you're going to kill. Get her taken care of and hopefully bring you buffalo too tomorrow, huh? Sounds like a plan. Good deal. Alrighty. Fierce Firearms presents Hunting Illustrated TV. Brought to you by Jack Link's Beef Snacks, Feed Your Wild Side, Swarovski Optics, See the Unseen, Fierce Firearms, Ferocious Performance, Fierce Accuracy, Barnes Bullets, Optimize for Your Target, Sportsman's Warehouse, America's Premier Outfitter, Stealth Cam Digital Scouting Cameras, Outdoor Edge Products, Rosini USA, sporting and field over under shotguns for the discriminating shooter. Limb Saver by Sims Vibration Labs, Caldwell Shooting Supplies, Cryptech Outdoor Gear, Fort Knox Safe and Vaults, and Hunting Illustrated Magazine, the voice of the hardcore hunter. Mother daughter first safari, and I'm here luckily tagging along to enjoy it. Hopefully, we can bring some great animals. We're going to go sight in our rifles and we're going to get after it. So, thanks for joining us, and hopefully, we've got some success. Right here from Mozambique right coming here. at you. Yep. Yep. Look at the group we've got with the 470. I'm I I'm really pleased. If you if you look at that cyber, yeah. Cyber the, the, the horns need to go up and then turn. With that one is almost turning turning already, right off the back. Yeah, from the so back. They need to come no, up. It straight. looks very nice, but it, it, it the females is the are lighter. Yeah, that golden color. Yeah. Yeah. And then the, the males are usually that black. And yeah. the younger bulls are kind of that. They're yeah. like that light blue, dark. They're they're not as dark. They're lighter. You get uh, hearted beast and sable, and uh, so we're gonna go kind of around up here. They're starting to lay down. It's getting close to later in the morning, early afternoons. So they're starting to lay down. Well, hey, we were just driving along in the Argos, and we just jumped some water bucks. And they've been baiting for leopards in this area, and they've been seeing a, a nice sable bull. And uh, that's what I'm after. That's what's on my trophy list. And so one of the trackers just climbed the tree here. He spotted some sable over here. So we're hoping that big bull they saw earlier in the week is with them. And we're going to go try and make a move on him right now. And a big trophy bull. Boom. Well, JW got us right here on these. Sable about what, 150, 200 yards. And uh, there's a couple of nice ones in there, but nothing quite what we're looking for. We're looking for a big mature bull. He says a way to judge a sable, a lot of times they just come up and curl real quick. Sable, obviously they're, they're an antelope and their horns sweep back. But if you get a lot of curl quickly, they don't measure. And we're looking for a 38 type, inch type bull. And for that to happen, they got to come up straight and then start their curl. And there was nothing in this group like that. So first stock of the hunt, no kill, but we're having fun here in Mozambique. He's the one in, right there in the middle? Yes. There's a, there's a cow behind him. Yes, he's shaking his head now. Okay. She's just clearing. 
Okay. Here we go. Oh, he's he's hit. Welcome back to Hunting Illustrated TV. This segment of Hunting Illustrated is brought to you by Razor Light, replacement blade knife that never needs sharpening from Outdoor Edge. This segment of the show is brought to you by Hunting Illustrated Magazine, the voice of the hardcore hunter. Hey, for all of you out there that are not subscribed to Hunting Illustrated Magazine, this is the perfect time to do so. For all of our new subscribers, for every year you subscribe, you get one chance to win a Fierce Firearms Long Range Package that comes with the Carbon Edge model and the Swarovski X5 Rifle Scope, along with Barnes Ammunition. It's a package worth over $7,000, so subscribe to the magazine. You could be the lucky winner, and not only that we're giving away the new outdoor edge razor knife for anyone who subscribes for at least two or three years we'll give you this forty dollar knife for free just pay shipping and handling make sure you go to our hunting illustrated facebook page so you can see what we're up to as well as get in on our contest and weekly giveaways <laughs> why they have the Argos out here. There's a quite a bit of swamp area that this is probably four feet deep right here. And a four-wheeler or a truck is not getting through this. So thus the Argos. Oh yeah. Making our way to Meninge and Yati. Meninge big. We found them. That's the same group from yesterday, so there should be at least two big bulls in there. Huh? Two big bulls of these. Mm. Three. The Just same herd. Yeah. Then that one big one. Do you think the Duggar boys will be hanging with them? Yes. how it looks here. So let's go back to this side, go and see if we can get this group. If we can get this group, fine. If we don't get this group, okay. Then we can go through this river because this river starts here and it ends there the other side. Okay, but this group we're gonna give up. Yeah, that bull is still soft here. Ah, I, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> There's only just that one bull in that herd? So this. Three bulls, but the other one is so young. Now. Yeah, yeah. So I think rather we leave it. Okay. It, this this one looks really nice. But I don't want to go to go through all this trouble to get there. If you know, maybe they drop this side. How is that where we jump? No, that side. What, the where the the ten Duggar boys when we first saw them were over there. Yes, yeah, on the right side. Okay. Just lumbering along, just big, massive. Bulls onion? 
поворачиваем. Welcome back to Hunting Illustrated TV. This segment of Hunting Illustrated is brought to you by the Swing Blade Knife. That's two blades in one to open game like a zipper from Outdoor Edge. Right there in the middle? Yes. There's a, there's a cow behind him. Yes, she's taking his head now. Okay. She's just clear. Yes, she's clear now. Okay. Here we go. Oh, he's, he's hit. Yes. No, he's you hit him. You hit him. Should I get another one in him? Let's give him some time. Let's give him some time. That's right. Okay. That's right. Okay, he's going to stand now. Get, get on the stick. Get on the stick. Okay. Right. Okay, when it when it stands, huh? Yeah. The little clear. Okay, that cow can get out now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's clear. Take it. Okay. 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 He's hit good. Yes. No. It looks it looks like it's going down. Just give him some time. Don't shoot. Just just give him some time. Just... He's down. Yes. Right. Woo! That thing right. is huge. Nice, <laughs> man. Thank nice. you. No, no. Excellent. That is Excellent. a beautiful. Holy cow! Did you see how big that thing is? I right. mean, among nice the job. other. Sable, that thing was like head and shoulders taller. You could definitely tell he was a mature bull, huh? I told you, if the bulls come out and they turn quickly, they don't get measurement. This one no. goes up nice and then... Oh, he is a, nice a dandy. Guy. I mean, and the shoulders on these things, they're, they're much taller at the shoulder, huh? Yeah. The kind of short and squatty yeah, and the see, shoulders yeah, come no. up. Beautiful it's animals. Beautiful. It's one of the prettiest animals in Africa. Oh, for sure. The Roosevelt Sable. Roosevelt Sable. I've had this on my bucket list for a long time. So let's get up to him and get our uh, hands around his horn and see how big he is. All right, thank sir. you. Thank you again. Right. Pleasure. Yeah, thank Pleasure you very much. much. Yeah, no, wow. yeah, no. yeah, yeah. It's laying up. Let's just take it with the tape. Get ready, huh? Yeah. 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 They can take it high. Oh yeah, he is done. Look at that thing. He's a giant. All right, man. Congrats. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you. Yeah, very, Thank very you. nice. Wow. Guy. What a beautiful animal. We'll get him. Uh, we'll get him propped up here. But look at this thing. Oh my goodness. These sable are huge. This thing. I. What? He's got to be 350, 400 pounds. Yeah, and it's a big guy. Big body, nice. and look at the horns on this thing. Look at that curl. We're. Uh, we're gonna clear some grass right here and we'll get the hero shot for you, but this is what I came to Africa for, not only to film Connie's leopard hunt, but hopefully get my hands on around the horns of one of these big African sable, and here he is, and he's a, he's a beautiful animal. Thank you very much. Pleasure is all mine. Marmu. Marmu Safari. Safari, Mozambique, right here, beautiful. Right. This is really our first day out hunting. Yesterday we were kind of getting set up and ready, and couldn't have been a better first day. So we just measured this sable, JW, and he's uh, 37 and a quarter. You thought he was 37. You're just a little off. <laughs> that was awesome. So there are several different species of sable. Can you tell us a little bit about the different species? Yes. Uh, this Roosevelt sable, you only get here in Mozambique and in Tanzania. Okay. So this, this sable here is it's very rare. I have a more um, facial expression is, is different than the other ones. They facial color uh, but this one of the species I would say is the smallest body size and horn size Small body and horn. yes of, of all of them um, you get the, the giant and gorilla sable that is really really big yeah um, then you get the one in Zambia that's also very nice one then you get the royal sable that is that's more to the southern part of South Africa royal? the royal sable. royal sable yeah it's more like you can say it's almost a common sable because that is what a lot of people hunt in, in, in that part. And are they bigger body and horn for that as well, the royal? Uh, yes, yeah. yes, they, they are. But the royal sable, if you shoot a very nice bull, you shoot something that's 36 inches. Yeah. So you did exceptionally good. You did <laughs> exceptionally good. And you can see here that the, the little bit of, of red here yeah. that's coming out of the Roosevelt sable. This that's coming out. 
Oh yeah. Wow, beautiful face. Look at the face colors on that thing. Beautiful. Well, hey, here we are. We're out here with Maramu Safaris in the Zambezi Delta Valley, and uh, we have just bagged a beautiful sable. Uh, JW, our PH, put us right on this thing. Thank you, JW. He is a dandy. Beautiful animal. I can't say enough about this gorgeous species right here, the sable antelope. And how antelope about that 300 is... short mag in the fierce? Wow. Well, <laughs> nice job, Jessica. Yes, that fierce <laughs> firearms 300 short mag performed awesome with a tip triple shock and actually a 165 grain. 165 grain and vortex ammunition. And vortex ammunition and, and put this bad boy down. And they're big animals, bigger than I yeah, thought. And tough. Tough. Just tough. Yeah, we took uh, took a first shot and, and uh, he took it well. and and went a little ways, but he's down and, and he is gonna look good on the wall. So we're having a great time uh, here on Hunting Illustrated TV and we've got more hunting action coming at you. We'll be right back, stay with us. Welcome back to Hunting Illustrated TV. This segment of Hunting Illustrated brought to you by Fierce Firearm. Ferocious performance, deadly accuracy. It's difficult because the boats are stretch out like this. Yeah. Get close. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Hopefully, the big boats is at the back. This side. Hopefully, we'll see when we get closer. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Very nice bull. Very nice bull. There's the bellow. Yes. Mm, there there's it another is. bull that, there that's also nice, huh? But that one's the nicest for me. Oh my gosh, what a hell of a day. Oh my gosh. We did it. Yes, we did. We did it with the 470. Yeah. That is intense. Crawling through the swamps. Oh my gosh. Going on a 40 maybe. Yeah. That was intense. It was close. It's exciting. It was it was awesome. But you know as tall as this grass is, you needed to get that close. Yeah, we did. I mean, honestly, I I I couldn't really see clearly where I needed to place the bullet, but I just measured down and I so I knew where to put it, but I was shooting through the grass. I mean, he was. But yeah. there's no other way of shooting it like this. Yeah, one. no, yeah. this grass is so tall. And it's wet, so you, you go into the ground. Yeah. Congratulations, man. Very, very nice. Thank you. Oh my gosh, look how heavy he is. Oh, he's beautiful. The old gnarly dog boy, huh? Oh my gosh, look at that. His boss comes clear down. Look at that. Look how huge his, he's got a helmet for sure. Look at that. Look at that shot placement. First shot, second shot. Well, you just saw Jessica take down this uh, beautiful bull with a double rifle. How was that? that was pretty exciting, huh, JW? <laughs> yeah, no, it was exciting. Huh? It was really exciting. We were very close. We we had some water, some long grass. This is the first animal I've taken with a double rifle, and I gotta say, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> it was. 
<laughs> it was exciting to get that close. They figured we were 35 yards from this bull. He moved out, thankfully. He moved out to the left, and there was no confusion about what bull I was going to shoot. I mean, I knew. When I fired, I didn't even feel the recoil from this 470. It just, I was so excited. And it's what's really nice about a double is just follow-up shot is just so quick. And um, I, I really like, I'm going to be doing this again. Yeah, pat, complete pass through on a shoulder on a buffalo is pretty impressive. And I mean, the shot that we got, the, the footage you can see, I mean, this bull just imme immediately, he soaked up all the energy that that bullet put out and it, it just hammered him. It did. Well, that was, a, that was an exciting ending to this week's episode. Thanks a lot, JW, and thanks to Mar Marmu Safaris here in Mozambique and, of course, Jessica for shooting straight. This girl can shoot, huh? No. <laughs> Definitely, uh, any day. Uh, so thanks for joining us. Make sure you tune in next week for more great hunting action right here on Hunting Illustrated TV. Thanks for watching HITV. Follow us on Facebook, and don't forget to go to HuntingIllustrated.com to subscribe to the magazine today. Tune in next week for more great hunting action right here.